Hello YouTube! This video will be about me putting together this enclosure we have for my 64 driver. I'm currently running some test code, cutting some air, and it seems to be working okay. I spent between three to four hundred bucks on the enclosure, and uh, yeah, this video will be about it. The next video will hopefully contain some milling operations. Um, but until then, I hope you enjoyed the video on the enclosure and I would also like to thank you for 100 subscribers, I really appreciate that. Enough with all the talk and let's start the video. From the cuts I made in the previous video, I did get two smaller pieces of stainless steel sheet left over, so I thought that I would have them on the sides here. I can also share some info on um, these aluminium profiles and um, this one I was able to tap with M5 straight away. This one I don't know, I haven't tried, but um, I didn't really think about um, that there were different options when I bought them. I just chose 2020 and thought they were all the same, but uh, if I would like to buy more, I would prefer this one. I had to remove the router to be able to do the drilling and tapping. And um, I bought some uh, stainless steel screws, uh, 16 millimeters long. These ones were really nice to work with. Paid like uh, 25, 30 bucks for a hundred of them. And uh, yeah, 16 millimeters is just perfect. We can see the screw sticking out one or two millimeters here. And um, I also mounted a bit better micro switches. These uh, were the ones that were included. And um, yeah, they looked a bit uh, boring to be honest. Now all the limit switches are mounted and uh, yeah, I placed them um, a bit tilted since um, that was uh, the easiest way. And um, for the X axis, I place them here. I will get a bit less uh, travel on the X axis, perhaps one centimeter in each uh, end, but I'm okay with that. And uh, for the Z axis, I place them on the spindle holder because um, I didn't want to, to drill into this one and simply attached a small piece of metal here and here so that they can engage with something. Okay, let's continue with the enclosure. I've now made two marks here for uh, where the these ones will be sitting and um, the plan is to have the hoses um, go down in these two to kind of uh, separate the electricity and the water so all the cables with electricity will go in here and the water down so that if some kind of leak appears it will just drip down to the floor and it will never be able to drip on the electronics so let's do some drilling all the holes are now drilled and I went with uh, three rows of 16 millimeters holes and one row of 20 millimeters holes. Um, these ones are for um, the spindle cable and a bit uh, thicker cables like that. I only needed one but I made uh, three. Uh, might be good to, to have some extras. All right, let's mount these stuff that should be in here and see how they fit. So, 
it seemed to work okay on this side it looks like this I've now mounted a aluminium uh, sheet uh, on the rear side of the enclosure much more time than I think so um, I can't record too much uh, but uh, I took the same procedure uh, covering the roof as I did with uh, covering the table I just made a first cut of the polycarbonate uh, three millimeter plastic sheet and uh, I used a jigsaw made made some stuff here to protect it from scratches and uh, it was fairly easy to cut um, I don't really have a good workbench here um, but uh, if one have access to a good workbench it shouldn't be uh, any problem uh, and as you can see here I mounted it or not mounted it but I squeezed it in um, and um, seems to be a good fit. I also bought uh, this uh, one millimeter thick aluminium profile that I will have uh, inside here uh, like that. And now mounted um, this uh, stainless profile here and one on the inside as well. I also mounted um, this type of angle profiles all the way around and uh, test mounted a window here and a window here so it's soon finished actually I think it uh, looks uh, really good to be honest these types of windows um, looks like this when they come they have some protective film on both sides. It was kind of hard to find some uh, polycarbonate in uh, decent uh, sizes to a decent price. But uh, eventually I found these ones and they are actually being sold for greenhouses. So they are about 61 centimeters wide I think and 120 centimeters uh, long so I simply uh, made the design um, from that these were about uh, 30 bucks each and they are th three millimeters thick these uh, three I would like to put somewhere in the front um, I have uh, this uh, aluminum sheet here that uh, I will try to bend and mount them here so we will see how that goes I don't have a machine for this so I simply put it uh, into my grandfather's workbench and press it a bit I think something like that might be good. It's a bit uh, not very straight, but uh, it will do. I have now uh, bent the lower part as well and uh, drilled one hole here for USB, one for emergency stop, and made a square hole for this uh, VFD control thing. So for this hole I actually drilled a couple of holes with the strep, uh, step drill and uh, then used uh, this uh, metal cutter or what it is. I actually got this for my birthday uh, the other day. The brand is Wiz, never heard of it before. It says uh, USA on the nut here. If uh, anyone knows uh, that brand you can uh, leave a comment if it's legit or not 
it worked uh, excellent cutting the aluminium not too pretty but um, it uh, did the job so let's uh, test mount this one and uh, see how it looks turned out okay I think could have been done better but uh, it's kind of hard to do the bending on this wood bench here to control exactly where you get the radius so I should have had this one a bit uh, further down but uh, yeah that's easy to say afterwards um, this one here um, was a bit critical to get it uh, not uh, engaging here so initially I thought that I would have this a bit uh, more up but um, that turned out to to be impossible <laughs> I was at the hardware store and bought some handles I will have them one handle on each window on the side windows they will be mounted like this uh, and on this one it, it will be like this I also bought some um, uh, I think they're called Excentral locks or something like that and my first plan was to have them uh, mounted like this uh, pulling 45 degrees in each corner but uh, it will be a bit hard to have this one mounted like this since I have this four-way joint here um, or three-way joint um, so I think I will place this one here instead and have it, have them pulling uh, simply straight and hopefully that will work as well right so I now put the handle and the excenter locks I simply drilled and tapped the polycarbonate and um, put some M5 screws in there <clears throat> it seems to be stuck pretty hard but uh, I did put a nut on this side as well just to make it a bit more stable here we have some um, I don't know what to call it in English but uh, so that one can open this window here and um, if we take a look on the sides here it's very easy to to remove them one simply just like this see if I can do it with one hand yep so then one can easily work inside here <clears throat> I also mounted this one here to cover up the electronics I did look into some proper uh, electronic boxes uh, or lockers but they were like 80 bucks and it was some uh, shipping time so I found this one instead on the hardware store this one is supposed to be used in a wardrobe uh, to store clothes and things like that you can see there is a wheel up here but uh, I think it will uh, work okay just to make sure that uh, no one sticks their fingers on the 230 uh, current on the power supplies so I also mounted uh, this box here uh, one cable is the incoming electricity and one Cable to the left here goes to the power supplies and cable to the left goes to the VFD. And uh, yeah, I bought a brand new cable for 10 bucks. Um, just to make sure that uh, it is as good as it can be. Final thing to do uh, before it's time to power it up is to cover up the rear hole here. 
uh, and uh, make the wiring a bit better looking to these LED lights that I mounted up very, very quickly uh, before I was soldering the spindle cable. And um, unfortunately, I don't have enough with polycarbonate to make this window out of one piece. But uh, I will cut two smaller pieces out and then hopefully mount them together with this one. So it's now evening and I mounted the two windows in rear. Also um, put the cables for the LED light into some... Uh, uh, hoses I had left from the water cooling system. You can see the pump down here to the left. And uh, there is a small tank here on the other side. You can see some water flowing in there. It's just regular tap water for now. I will change it out later. So the panel seems to work good as well. So that is nice. The cost for this enclosure is somewhere between three and four hundred bucks. Um, one could have gotten away a bit cheaper choosing uh, aluminium sheets instead of stainless sheets inside the enclosure and choosing uh, acrylic windows instead of polycarbonate but uh, I went with stainless and polycarbonate I think uh, 400 bucks is uh, is uh, okay for this enclosure. I will try to test mill some exotic materials like titanium and stuff like that so then it's nice to have good enclosure so grandpa doesn't get chips uh, in his woodwork workshop. So I've now wired in the computer, so let's run a quick program and cut some air and see how it works. <laughs> 